All right, we've got our bench all cleared off and everything laid out and ready to go. Um, first thing that I want you to do is to lay your hub carriers out oriented just like you see them here on the bench. Um, we're going to put them with the hub side out and the steering arm side down and lay them directly in front so you don't get them mixed up on which one goes on which side. We've also separated our four remaining bolts. We've put the two shorter ones that are in the groups towards the top because they'll go through the top of the A-arm and then the two longer ones down at the bottom because they're going to go in from the bottom. Just makes them easier to grab. I'm um, going to go ahead and start putting these together and you may or may not be able to see too much of what I'm doing in the camera because it does take some weird angles to try to get the, uh, the screws in and you have to hold parts up in every which way but I'll try my best. Um, one thing that I have found a little trick is that um, as we're putting the bottoms on first the top A arms would like to flop around on us so I'm just going to use a little rubber band here and hold them into the place and it just makes it a little bit easier to work on. The first one goes on and what we're going to do is the bolt goes in first so we're just going to slide that in just a tiny bit um, so it doesn't pop through the top however we're going to go ahead and slide that under the A arm and from there we're going to slide the bolt up through the ball like so. Let me see if I can get a little bit of a uh, close up on this for you so that you can see. But you're going to put the bolt in the bottom portion of the hub carrier goes underneath the A-arm. You're going to slide the bolt up through the ball. And then at that point, you're going to put the cone washer on. And when you put the cone washer on, you need to put the small portion down. So we're going to go ahead and slide the cone washer in between the ball. This is kind of tough to do. We're going to slide it in between the ball and the A-arm just like so. Actually it's between the ball and the hub carrier. Then we're going to go ahead and push our screw up through and then one of our remaining flange nuts is going to go right on the top. Um, this is really a good place to use your multi-tool um, that you got with your kit because it fits right in there and I think they did a great job on, on designing this tool. So we're going to use the multi-tool and we're going to go ahead and insert our, our flange nut in there. And we're going to go ahead and put that in through the center here so that you can get it tightened up. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my drill here. Just put on. It's kind of hard to show this in the camera and do it at the same time. It is one of the trickier steps. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that up. Don't over tighten it, but you don't want it loose. This is the way it's going to look when you're done. We've gone ahead and again put the bolt in with the A-arm going on top of the hub carrier. Slid our bolt through the ball, put the cone with the small end down, slid the bolt further through, and put the nylock on. Okay, the top part is actually a lot simpler. I'm going to go ahead and remove my rubber band and put it over there to keep this one from flopping around. I'm going to go ahead and grab the longer bolt, or the shorter of the two bolts, put it through. Go ahead and drop it down and screw it in. Remember we put these little uh, bolt holders in in the last page and that has our retaining nut in it. So we're going to go ahead now and tighten this bolt down. Okay, what we've done is we've just installed one of the hubs onto the front A-arms. Um, it should flop around freely. Um, there should be no binding involved. If there's any binding, you're going to want to take a look and uh, see if you did something wrong. So we're going to go ahead and um, do the other side now. I'm going to back the camera out, 
get a better view at it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to whip through this one. To me, this is actually one of the toughest parts of the whole build. I don't know why. It's not difficult. It just seems like it takes a, a couple of hands to get everything where they belong. I'm going to go ahead and slide the cone washer in with the small portion down. I'm going to go ahead and slip the screw up. I'm going to put the uh, lock nut into my multi-tool. Set that on top of the bolt. Then go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, got that one all tight. Take off the rubber band and go ahead and put on the, uh, the top one. This is where an electric drill screwdriver really comes in handy. Okay, that one's on. Let's make sure that uh, there's no binding going on. All right. Now we have our front hub carriers all connected up, ready to go. This is what it should look like. Try to hold it up for you there. And again, everything should operate freely. It's starting to look like something now, isn't it? Okay, we have successfully up to this point finished page number 14 and we're going to move on to the steering assembly on page number 15.